Hey everyone, this is Scott from SerpMedia.com. In this video, I'm covering WebP Express. WebP Express is a free way to convert your images on your WordPress website to WebP. Um, I'm going to go through this plugin, and it is a bit complicated, and you're going to run into issues, and we're going to address them. Uh, to begin, first of all, the operation mode, I leave it in the default uh, varied image response. It seems to work well and I didn't need to use CDN friendly. If you are using a CDN that cannot handle varied responses, like key CDN, stack path, uh, go ahead and set it to CDN friendly. For general, I left the scope to all content, which is uploads and themes. Im and then for image types, I set it to both JPEGs and PNGs. My destination folder was mingled. I just left them all in the same upload folder. For the file extension, I just had it append.webp, so it would be .jpg.webp. For just uh, for cache control header, I did not set it. Um, I let the caching plugins handle that. Then for redirection rules, I allowed it to enable direct redirection to exist converting images. Now we're gonna have a little bit of a uh, pause here because this plugin has a bit of nuance to it. If you are using a Apache only website, and probably Lightspeed as well, um, you won't need to do some of the H altering of HTML that we're going to jump into below. And the easiest way to test that is you'll open up your tab, and you'll open up your network tab, and you'll click on images after you've com converted all your images down below and you've enabled the redirection rules. And if you see type as .webp on an image that just says like .jpg or .png, congrats, your server can properly handle it. For those of us on Nginx though, without adding the rules to the Nginx configuration file, we're kind of SOL in terms of that. We have to use the altering of HTML and that's where we're gonna jump into. Uh, but first, we're just gonna talk about conversion. To enable conversion for PNG and JPEG, let's them at the default to avoid obvious quality loss. Um, the one thing I did make sure is that no metadata was um, converted into the WebP images. And you have a couple of different options to do the uh, conversion process. You could do the e-image optimizer, converter, remote EX, uh, remote Web Express, and a bunch of other options. I looked at the default GD extension. What that basically means for those of you is it will do all the conversion and optimization on your own web server. I recommend doing this off of peak traffic times to avoid slowdowns for users. But once you have converted them, you are in the good zone. So after you've converted on upload and you have gone through the bulk convert, all you have to do is for bulk convert is click bulk convert and you'll see that there are 421 unconverted files and it will go through all of them. It looks like I didn't convert some of the uh, plugins and theme images. I can let it sit here and run through it, but it is a bit time consuming because there's 400 images. I'm going to pause it and I do recommend that you take the time now to go through and run the conversion process. Uh, now what this has done, because I'm on, in, I'm on the Apache slash Nginx server, I wasn't able to just use rewrite rules. I had to enable the alter HTML. And there are two options that we're going to have to really discuss. There is the first option to replace the image tags with picture tags to add the WebP to the source set and to replace the image URLs outright. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages to both implementations. If you're using the first option, it will work with any caching plugin. So you have, you have WordPress super cache installed because it doesn't then need to segment the cache for WebP users. It will just serve a picture element and I'll show you what that looks like in the HTML. As you can see right here, it serves a picture element within a figure class and it says source set and it's fetching the .jpg.webp and it does it, and then it also has a fallback where it just references the original .jpg image as a means of fallback for browsers that do not support the type of image slash WebP. I'm looking at you, Safari. And this is advantageous if you are using a basic cache plugin that doesn't want to fragment the cache, 
or you're on a varnish system where you can't fragment the cache that way, but you're gonna run into a issue. In certain configurations and certain themes notably, you're going to have images that look, for the lack of a better word, messed up. The They're not gonna appear stylized. And that's because under, if you have like a div image source and you're targeting an image class or just the image attribute itself, it doesn't exist anymore. It's now a picture element. So if any class, if you were at any point targeting just the image attribute instead of a class, that's now going to cause some issues. However, if you use the other implementation method, which we'll cover right now, which is the replace image URLs and only do replacement of WebP enabled browsers, this is where you run into a secondary issue and it's great when this happens. So the first thing that we have to point out is it's awesome because now what happens is, is it just appends WebP and all the markup is left the same, the image is left, everything should look 100% the same. But if you've enabled this without a page caching solution, uh, WordPress Rocket and Cache Enabler both have implementations to segment the cache for WebP browsers. What's gonna happen is, is browsers that don't support it, Safari, uh, Internet Explorer, if you're somebody who still seems to care about it, they're not going to be able to render the image. And because they can't render that image, they're going to appear like the entire page is broken. The images will not load. So you have to, you have a compromise. If you wish to use, if you're on like an engine server and you can't just do the redirect rules via the HT access file, then you have to use one of these two methods. Personally, I would suggest if you have WordPress Rocket to just enable the WebP cache and to do the secondary implementation, you're gonna run into a lot less issues. The only issues you'll run into is that the plugin themselves aren't detecting browsers that actually support WebP images. And there was a time when WordPress Rocket made that mistake um, back when the feature first came out, but it was patched relatively quickly. The other issue that you're going to run into though is if you do the original one and you're targeting the image attribute, your styles are gonna appear messed up and there's not an easy way to fix that unfortunately because the image attribute no longer will exist and it'll become a picture element. There's, it, it, you're gonna run into issues with no matter which way, but personally, if you have access to a good caching plugin that does support segmenting the page cache as WebP, like WordPress Rocket, go ahead and do the secondary method of just replacing the image URLs. It'll make it much easier on you. But if you have to use the first method, just be aware and to double check to make sure no, nothing gets styled incorrectly. If you have questions about WebP Express, you can, as always, ask in the comments below and I will try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like the video and subscribe.